Good evening folks on this last day of September of 2023 I just wanted to do a progress video on my AMT Great Dane dry van trailer and as you can see it most of the coloring is in the lagoon green uh, excuse me lagoon blue like the Peterbilt I just did this is going to be the trailer for it as you saw in the post picture anyway so I got the trailer together for the most part I did the decals today as you can see I got the um, I got the reflective marker tape down or on there on the bottom there I, I decided that this would be an owner operator that um, he contracts out with a company so the company that he's contracted with put their logo on his trailer so that's what I'm going with you can see the uh, landing gear there matches the side of the trailer I did white Dayton's Okay, the roof is silver colored. It's gonna turn it to the front here. Uh, there we go. There's the front wall, which is also silver. That's what I'm going with. Let's do another turn. You can see the right side. There's the right side of the trailer. For the most part, I'm pretty impressed with it. For my first 125th scale trailer, it didn't do too bad. Um, the side door here, I was doing a little was playing around with it and the little pegs you know the hit for the hinges snapped on me so I decided well it just won't operate so I taped it on the back so it'll never open but yeah for the most part the decals are on um, unfortunately we're gonna go ahead and flip it on its side here you can see the underside of the trailer unfortunately my frame rails here were warped so I had to do a lot of fighting just to get them in place and in position on the other, on the flooring there. Um, but you know, it eventually worked. It eventually worked out. So that's how it came out. You can see the spring brakes and all the uh, leaf springs there. I did some. Uh, I roughed up the uh, treads of the tires. Okay, the spare tire rack with spare tire goes right there I had it on and then when I tried to put the tire in it fell off in fact I'll show you that right now there's the spare tire with the uh, outer rim painted in white and there's the rack itself mat in matching lagoon and there's your there's your kingpin over there okay so that's the underside of the trailer bring it back up um, flip it to the rear okay there we go there's the rear of the trailer there. You can see the uh, upper marker lights, the tail lights. I got the uh, other decals on the back there. You can see the license plate down there. For the most part, this has been a really easy build. Very minimal fuss involved here. Um, let's show you the back doors. They're out at the moment. There's your back doors. I did the hardware detail in silver. You can see the Great Dane decal on the bottom left corner of the, of the left door I got the other uh, decals warning decals uh, you know caution wide turns and whatever else and I'm pretty impressed with it so they'll be going in one of the pegs broke on top so I will probably have troubles with the door falling out as you can see inside the trailer I just uh, made the flooring uh, represent wood so I just painted it a uh, nutmeg color and then the walls I just hit them with silver walls and ceiling are silver you know nothing uh, nothing too special so that's how the trailer is coming I still got to put the uh, the I still got to put the wind the uh, winding uh, handle there for the landing gear still gotta get that done the mud flaps were being painted today, so I still got to let that dry, and then I'll get the Great Dane decals on it, and then I'll get that on and buttoned up, and then that'll do it. And then I'll have the slideshow video for you on that, and uh, then the Peterbilt will be complete with its trailer. All right, folks, until the next video.